Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and I'm here playing three different horror games. The first of which is Fearlift, a horror game where you operate a forklift. Last shift, I'll be out of this dump. Just got a few more hours. Move a few more boxes. Well, let's get in. Gotta do my work for Amazon. The best place on earth. Pick up the fiberglass box. Look like fiberglass to me, it looks like wood. Get to work, Wagey. Move box to shelf. Uh, A7. Didn't Shemu have like a forklift minigame or was that a different one? Um, also, as I'm playing this, note that all these games from the same developer I'll be playing tonight. And they're all sequels to Food for Pigs. Pick up the green box. Got it. Move box to shelf C-13. How can a forklift game go wrong? make this into a horror game aside from you know forcing you to do work all right if it's a good strange noise weird don't better be messing around I got a forklift and I'm a wage you who has a chip on their shoulder return boxes to shelf Who's not gonna open these boxes? I don't know Put you up here. Here we go. Alright, and you go on this shelf. Pick up the meat box. That's very specific. Get the meat box. Okay, let's get the meat box. Move meat box to shelf K4. Oh no! If this gets strange noise. Why am I the only one here? I'll get paid enough for this. You never do in these horror games. weird going on. Maybe it's behind the shelf. Huh. Looks like something spilled over there. You guys sure, like, made a real long layout around here. I feel like you would have, like, had a little spacer in the, uh... Shipment shelving. So you can get around here quicker. Weird. It's like three boxes in a row. Why do they all have, like, tomato juice under them? Return boxes a shelf. Okay. One. Double. And triple. We need to get the janitor in here later to clean this tomato juice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are we... Are we transporting Amazon products? I suppose we are. They usually do scream. Hmm. Don't really see anything off yet. 
one has words on it. Get out and get a closer look. No! That sounds silly. That's just a developer. No. Mary. I thought that was like a developer cameo, but it wasn't. How am I getting out? Forklift was a safe thing. I, I don't think I've ever seen this label before. Move unknown box of storage. Are we storing the, uh, the Mary box? Okay, let's park Mary right here. Don't you jump scare me when I do this. Uh oh, we better start driving away. The one little pillar that's kind of red kind of upsets me. It's kind of weird. A door? Do you want me to load the door? I mean, I can do it. I'm being paid. I get something to do this stuff. <laughs> no. They want me to go on foot so that way they can murder me. Check out the door. Well, that's a big door. Huh. I don't see anything. Press F. Oh, yeah. Apart from this side. Here we go. I gotta do it from right here. Uh Well, I was working for Amazon after all. This makes perfect sense. Hmm. Oh God, that's that's my name. Uh oh. <laughs> no. So the second game we'll be playing is Purgatory Prison, also part of the Food for Pigs universe. Um, all these games supposedly connected, we'll find out how. There's a thing walking around. Great. Gather supplies for a battering ram. Hit the X. Hide in lockers for space locker. Okay. So we need a spoon, duct tape, and a toy bow. Yes, very specific. Ah, I see. Let's be one of these. Big place! I think we're good. No, we're not. What was that? Is it beep booping? It's like a robot ghost. Uh oh. No. Oh. Got that I am real quick. Get ready to head back to a locker. We need a spoon and a toy boat now. Whoa, 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 So let's go this way. Keep your eyes open for lockers I can retreat to if needed. I think I'm gonna go in one. I have a feeling it's coming. Yeah, it is like a robot. Oh, it's coming back. 
boat. Hide in the locker. Yep, it's coming. Now we just need a spoon. Spoon! Hi. Embodiment of white noise. Huh. Spoon's gotta be in the far right, probably. There's probably a cafeteria there or something. Gonna hang the locker. Just in case. Yep, I knew it was coming. You gotta move. That is the world's biggest spoon. Get back in, get back in. We're good. Okay, we're gonna make our way back. They might be... We can make it, we can make it. Yeah. Beep boop, beep boop. Get manly, badass hero. I think we got. It. We're free! No, we just went down a pit. We're dead! Water? Congratulations on escaping purgatory and ending your sentence early. Unfortunately, you were not supposed to do that, and I am not pleased. Welcome to your inner power residence. Which you understand. This is a little warmer than my last one. Oh god, there's fire! Pigs. Feed. Hey look, it's what was me in the last game. So this is Food for Pigs 2. I guess the big reveal is it's all like experiment. Man, we went from like one crappy job to the next. Experiment farmhouse has been completed. Results nominal. Subject. Subject is deceased. Good work. Not too bad for your first day. I know this. I know this job can be hard on you. Just remember, we aren't monsters. We're just doing our job. Besides, Big Boss says this research will help save millions of lives anyway. Experiment prison and warehouse have both gone well. Only waiting on the conclusion at Dreadhouse now. Shouldn't be too long. Just uh, get back to HQ for a debrief. How is the, the the food for pigs experiment gonna save millions of lives? Like so, we've discovered that if you these pigs eat people, they die. My God, this will save millions. Inform the government. Dreadhouse containment breach. Repeat. Dreadhouse containment breach. All personnel report to your nearest headquarters. Dreadhouse containment breach. Listen very carefully. There's been a breach at Dreadhouse. You need to get to HQ now. I don't know what was in there. It's above my classification, but I'll be on the security camps if I flash the lights red. You need to hide, get into a locker or something. I don't know. Just go now, quick. Okay, I'm going now. You guys need like some security. 
I'm not an experiment, but for an experiment, all right? Uh. Are you gonna... Where's the door? You, you need to listen very close. All right, the big boss is here, and he wants you to get the experiment data from the server. Well, I know it's going to be dangerous, but he says the whole wing is going to be powered down, and he needs that data. I'm, I'm so sorry, but you know I can't disobey him. I I won't let you in without that data. I'm sorry. Good luck. This sucks. Treat your wages nicer. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Clang, clang. What's out there? Do I want to know? I think we're good. Hello, Rachel. It's me, your boss. We've temporarily moved your friend to a separate part of the facility. Now, go take that data stick and upload it at the terminal, and I'll let you in. Simple, right? Good luck. Good oh, luck. And it seems that an entity from the prison experiment has just broken out of containment. Two in one day. What a coincidence. Just terrible luck. Goodbye. That's a lie. I've been an experiment for an experiment. So did I still get warning? With red lights and stuff, or what? What is that? I can't see anything. Is that was from the dread experiment? Boy, these are some pristine walls and smooth opening motions. Your base is annoying. Good, good. Now, we don't have access to the power panels from in here, so you'll have to be the one to turn those off. You do want to survive, right? I'd be real if I were you. I saw what you did there. Good thing I stood next to this. I ain't give me no food for pigs. Two. So, yeah, we're going back in. We're going back. Stop mocking me. I know it's weird to like anime. Go, 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 go. get in, get in. Whoa, I'm moving like damn Pac Man. Still kind of behind us. Not fully comfortable with... 
where we're at. Okay, here we go. Oh dear. It seems that I've forgotten that cutting the power disables the door to the headquarters. Oh no. So sorry about that one, champ. Goodbye. It's fine. It's fine. I'm in a locker. I'm safe. Never mind. Facility experiment completed. So that's it for what I is, guess is the food for pigs story. So yeah, it was a simulation within a simulation. What happens if we simulate a person in a simulation that's doomed? Who is simulating a food for pig simulation? So I, I don't know. Maybe they're in a simulation too. You never know. You don't know how many layers the simulation goes on. So if I had to evaluate, I'd say food for pigs, the first one is the best one of the lot. As far as simple concept, kind of creepy. It's done and out. Then the forklift one is, uh, I would, I would kind of evaluate as the second best. Forklift probably should have been a little bit longer, but I think the concept is scary. Um, if you have like a little more length and some, a little more padding to it per se, and some, uh, a little more scares added. And then the other two are a bit of, kind of, they make me think of like Outlast, and Outlast had the, the lockers. They're kind of like that Outlast gameplay loop where locker, go out, locker, go out. But for such simple horror games, I don't think you necessarily need a really active threat like that. I think just the, the scripted scares, um, when you're working in a more simple format, can work alone. Or the, the one where they just went dark and there's just like a weird baby kind of noise. I think that one's kind of a little creepy. But anyway, so thank you all for watching me play these three different horror games. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.